fixthetechlane.com. This is target number two for today. And uh, just a few minutes ago, literally, uh, it's uh, about 8.12 right now I am. Uh, you saw me as I dug a nugget right here. And uh, we filled our hole in so you can hardly tell. But one of the things that I always teach when I take people into the field is when you find a nugget, where could it possibly have come from? Okay, now it could have it could have dropped down in from up here. It could have just washed its way down this gully, but most of the time gold is heavy, so it's going to sink. And it's going to sink rather rapidly. So I looked right up here and I go, well, I, I want to check these bushes to make sure there's nothing stuck in the bushes. But I also see that this is a little drainage right here. And it comes off of this little mound. And there's a lot of broken quartz uh, back up over in here. But right here, okay, about the middle of my picture, gully starts right here. At the middle of my picture, I'm getting another nice target. And uh, I'm pretty confident this is gold as well. Uh, because it's just, here's the target I'm getting. There's the hole I just dug. So listen. I'm sure when you watch YouTube videos, you folks will notice that people who are detecting, when they get a target, and they're relatively certain it's a target, an actual piece of gold, you'll see them just almost endlessly swing their coil over it. Uh, probably to the point of distraction for most of you, probably like, uh, when are you going to dig, you know, that target? Um, there's a reason that we do that. We want to ingrain in our brain the sound. Uh, when I was out with Miguel, uh, he was going over an area, and I said, whoa, whoa, wait, Miguel, go back. Right, swing your car right there. I heard a target. He said, ooh, you got really good ears. And I said, actually, I got terrible hearing, but, but I'm tuned in to that sound. years in June, sort of like, sort of the opposite of what I've done with my wife, where I sort of tune her out. I like it. A little too deep yet to get up to the edge, but we'll uh, start taking a little dirt off. It's, something must have been here before. It's dried. Uh, 
right here, pretty close to where I pulled the dirt. All right, so we'll uh, pull it out at a different angle now. Get us another little pile started. It's nice and gravelly in here. I encourage you always to just take a little bit of time. Be patient. Because you actually want to know what the, the real depth is. Instead of just taking five inches of dirt out and then say, oh yeah, that thing was five inches deep. Hey, it looks like I got it out. I did. Alright, this is so often the case. Um, this is sort of a, uh, a typical scenario where nuggets are trying to work their way down to the gully. And uh, what typically happens is because of the water running in the gully, it sort of provides a little buffer where it doesn't just quite make it. So it's always important to hunt uphill and keep trying to track up uh, from where you uh, found, you found the golden nut in the gully. So now we came up, we found this little area where it drops in, and uh, I don't know if that's oriented right. Where it drops into the gully, and then I'm going to go up a little higher than that, of course. And see if, uh, there's a chance that there's more gold that's shed. See what happens when you agitate? That dirt really helps considerably. Put that nugget down to the bottom. Now, of course, it could be at the bottom, but it could be at the front of the scoop. That's why you sometimes can dump it, end up dumping it in your hand. what the one I thought it was. This looks like about a one grammar. Or close to it anyway. That, on the other hand, is my camera. You see that? So, here we go. Not really very deep. I'm surprised that it didn't sound off a little better as large as it is, but uh, hey, it was a target and we didn't miss it. So, uh, put a little water on it. Move the quail out of the way here. 
Oh wow, what a surprise. I said it, it, it I, wasn't, I was surprised it wasn't a little larger. Look at this. That was a clot of dirt. The little nugget was in the clot of dirt. See all the dirt that just winced off of it? That's why it wasn't very loud. That's like a like a 0.1 gram. Hold on a minute. Let me pull that out of there. Minute. Yeah, it was in that little clod of dirt. And here I thought that little clod was the... Look at that. Holy mackerel. Well, that... See, there's a reason for everything. And the reason it wasn't extremely loud is because it wasn't extremely large. I was just... Uh, counting my chickens before the nugget hatched but anyway hey nice little piece of gold real pretty how exciting I mean, it's just exciting to know that we've got a detector with a big coil that gives you decent coverage that's gonna find the bigger stuff and it's gonna find little stuff too how many times have you used your other machines and you know back in the day of the SD2200 forget it you had a coil this size on you were not going to find little gold even if you had a little coil on you probably weren't going to find this size gold um, but not today today we, it's a whole new ball game okay nugget number two doc docsdetecting.com why don't you give me a ring okay call me up and we'll see what we can do about Taking you out to the gold fields, teaching you how to find gold like I do. Take care, guys.